Hi, I'm Mike Stanton from Build America Mutual. I'm here with Grant Dewey, head of BAM's Municipal Capital Markets Desk. It's September 20th, and this is the BAM Weekly Municipal Market Update. So Grant, there was a lot of developments last week on the macro front. There was a Fed meeting. There was some new news on the trade front. How did interest rates perform, uh, particularly in the municipal market? Uh, so, um, you know, uh, munis lag. Treasuries rallied uh, for the week about 15 to 17 basis points. Munis performed well. Uh, we were better by five to six basis points. So. Uh, ratio, muni ratios went higher, but um, yeah, the dovish comments uh, regarding trade as well as the 25 basis point cut, which you know was widely uh, expected, but it still kind of calmed the markets. We had uh, last Friday, we had um, munis got clobbered uh, and spent this week basically getting half of that back. So we were down about 10 basis points a week ago, and we spent the week this week getting you know five back. So. And that muni underperformance versus taxables, that was kind of expected coming into the month. We knew from a technical perspective there were going to be more uh, new issue volume, maybe not as uh, vibrant cash flows into mutual funds, and we're seeing that, isn't it? Absolutely. The, uh, the, the flows this week, the inflows, uh, although positive, were the, were the lowest of the year. So 37 weeks, um, these were the, the lowest flows. And we've had, as you mentioned, you know, two weeks of $10 billion plus supply. I think next week we're going to be down a little closer to the average, which is around seven, uh, seven, seven, point, or eight, yeah. seven or eight billion. So, um, you know, manageable, uh, manageable supply. I think we'll get through it just fine. But again, rates uh, versus the previous week, we had a very stable uh, uh, week. So, what kind of activity did BAM see in the market this past week? Well, we had a busy week, insuring twelve deals in the primary and another ten uh, secondary trades. Um, those are trades that have. Uh, that are deals that have already been issued, they're outstanding, and, and we do that directly for, uh, for investors. So, um, uh, total of 200 million, and, and again, very busy week. We did do uh, some Cleveland Airport taxables, which was a, a deal that came recently as uninsured, as well as uh, some Illinois Sports Authority. And in the uh, new issue side, the Reading School District had a big transaction, uh, Rockland Unified School District right outside Sacramento. Uh, so that trend of seeing school district transactions has continued. So looking ahead, you mentioned uh, about seven, seven, eight billion dollars of new issue supply coming this year. Uh, this week, uh, about 150 million, uh, at least of that, is going to be BAM insured bonds. A um, couple of highlighted transactions, the Bueller Unified School District, number 313 from Kansas, that's north of Wichita, is selling about $42.3 million. That's a taxable advance for funding, yet another sign that mm -hmm. interest rates are so at such absolute low levels that even at a taxable basis it makes sense that to makes refund sense. Uh, the outstanding bonds. Mark Capel from Ben San Francisco office is going to be doing a Credit Insights video on that. It'll be coming out on Monday. And the Colliers Hill Metropolitan District in Colorado, that's north of Denver, is selling $23.7 million of uh, bonds from through George K. Baum. Uh, they're refinancing notes sold in 2016, which financed infrastructure for a new development in the town of Erie. And Alex Weissman is preparing a Credit Insights insights video on that. That will also be ready on Monday. You can click here to subscribe to BAM's YouTube channel and that will keep you posted on all of the new Credit Insights as soon as they come. So Grant, next week you and I will be at the Bombayer California Public Finance Conference. That's the largest uh, municipal market conference of the year. About 800 people will be there. So we'll have some videos on site with uh, key people from the market and then we'll be back for the recap uh, next week. Great. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for watching.